Hello friends, today's video is about Indian club bells. In Tamil we call it Karla Katai. And these are good traditional Indian exercise equipments. Okay, and they are made of wood. And I have seen some that are made of steel too. But wood is better. And here you can see that I have three, three of them. And I will demonstrate how to use them. Okay. Okay, so this is the smallest one and the idea is to hold it like this, like an L here, okay? And you have to concentrate on your back. So this is why when people do this, sometimes they keep their hand in the back like this so that, you know, they don't do this constantly because when you put it here back, you have a tendency to flex or hyper extend forward like this which you shouldn't do okay so you put it here and from here it's a pulling action you pull like this okay you don't it is not like this you don't do that you put it here right above your ear so it goes above your ear like this and then once it reaches make sure that you are not doing this. Make sure it is not pulling you back like this. So hold your back stiff and from here you pull it forward. Okay. And you keep it at 90 degrees and if you want to make it a little bit more difficult you can extend it forward like this. And once you do 3 or 4 or 5 or 10 on one hand you have to do it with your other hand. Like so, okay? Okay, now this next one is slightly more difficult because it is slightly longer. So the longer it is and the heavier it is, the more difficult it becomes. And also the, the handle, if it is thicker and thicker, it becomes more difficult. The reason why it becomes difficult is because when it is longer, it wants to go everywhere like this. The center of mass is distributed through a longer distance, right? I shouldn't say center of mass. The mass is distributed through a longer distance, so the center of mass is not close to your hand. It is somewhere here in the middle. So it wants to go everywhere. So what that means is you have to use more muscles to stabilize it. So it becomes harder. So the longer the bell, the harder it becomes. So here too you should not you should not flex your back because the moment the bell goes backwards it has a tendency to pull you like this. So you have to hold your back straight and pull. Okay. Okay, and when you send the bell on this side, it should be above the ear. You cannot send it above your shoulder like this because the moment you send it above your shoulder, it's already pulling your elbow off. Can you see this? Your elbow will come up like this. But if you send it above your ear, your elbow remains stable. Okay. Now if you have two bells that are of equal weight, these are not of equal weights, but if you have two identical bells, you can swing them alternately, like this. Okay. Now I will come to the, the granddaddy of the bells I have, this one. It's really heavy and uh, it is made of a tree called Mudurai Maram. I do not know what the English name of it is. In Tamil we have something called Sekku Valakai. Sekku Valakai means uh, the, the center portion of an oil mill. So when you are really lazy, uh, elders used to even scold us saying that you are sitting like a Sekku Valakai. So this is really heavy and immobile. So this is made of the Sekku Valakai. You don't get it anymore because those kind of oil mills are gone 
but uh, this is made of a mudrai maram and this was soaked in oil for maybe 50 years so it's really heavy okay and long and it has a thick handle so it is the most difficult bell i own but the way you do it is like so and already it wants to go everywhere so i have to stabilize it using my chest and shoulders If it is too difficult, we can use both hands. You lock your hands like this. And you take the bell. Right? Like so. And now you can pull. 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 Okay? Be careful with your back. Because when you send the bell this way, you have a tendency to do this. So if you do not have strength in your back, you will end up snapping your back. Okay, be careful. So there is no need for you to go for heavy bells until you build up strength. But these are traditional Indian exercises and yeah, during such times where you cannot go out, you can use it. Okay, hope this was of some help. And the good thing is you can even manufacture it yourself. All you need is a wood turning lathe. Okay? And some heavy hardwood. Hope it was of some use to you. Thank you.